Today I am going to talk about the topic dark themes. So I am going to discuss more about dark themes and uh, what are the best practices and uh, where to use and where to avoid. Let's get started. Hello all, I am Rambal from Aspera. Happy to see you again. So today I am going to talk about more about dark themes. I know that you people are very much fascinating about the dark themes. So dark themes are the most trending item in the eWay design for the past one to two years period. So that you people also try to implement the dark themes or you want to practicing on dark themes. All right, first I'm going to share the rule about implementing the dark themes. So the rule is very simple. Wherever the users, they are spending more time, then you can able to enable the dark themes for your users. Reason is very simple. They are going to spend more time. So basically most of the applications we people used to designing in a white color or the black color themes. So in the color white is too bright and the people they cannot able to spend more time on the white color background oriented app designs. Reason is that the white color is producing too much of illuminations and it's burning the eyes and it's irritating one. So in the other hand, the dark themes that is a black based or the dark blue oriented black based themes are basically it's a soothing the eyes and the users can be able to spend more time on that. So the rule is very simple. Wherever the users are spending more time there, you can enable the dark themes for them. So I'm going to explain about more scenario about the dark themes. And the first one is the programmers or the developers. So these communities, basically speaking, they are spending about eight to 12 hours in a day and writing their coding on the system. So basically in these kind of a coding programs or the coder environment, you have to enabling on the dark themes. This is a birthplace for the dark themes. So this is where the developers, they are practicing their coding or they are writing their coding on the dark environment, not now. They were practicing for all, they were writing from almost 30 to 40 years. If you are going to designing an application that is related to the developers, then you have to enable the dark themes so that those kind of users, they can easily adapt it to your application. The second major communities are the traders. So stock exchange markets are the traders, the people they are spending almost eight hours in a day. They are spending their time on the systems and they are closely watching the stocks. So whether the stock price is going up or down, so accordingly they have to make a decision as quick as possible. If the environment is in the white color background, the colors are not visible as like into the dark themes. So if the stock is going up, the people they can able to easily recognize there is a green color and if the stock value is going negative, it's going to reflect on the red color triangles. So based on that, they made their decision as quick as possible in the dark environment than the white environment. So if you are going to building a trading platform or the any stock exchange oriented platform, recently the cryptocurrency is also been evolving. So if you are going to working on these platform, then you can prefer on the dark themes. And third major user groups are gamers. So these gaming people or the gaming users, they are spending more time on playing games on the internet or the system or gaming consoles. So these people, they spending a lot of time for playing games so that they are also preferring on the dark themes. So if you are working on any gaming environment or the gaming applications, then you can work around with the dark themes. In the recent past, there is a one more industry has been emerging like anything. So that industry is nothing but is a video and audio platform, something like a OTT platforms. So nowadays, recent past, what happened that during the pandemic time, the people, they are increasing their time spending on OTT platforms. They are watching a lot and a lot of movies, web series on the OTT platforms. So that is the reason majority of the OTT platforms, they are also enabling the dark themes, including YouTube as well. So if you are planning for this kind of a video platform or any audio platform, then you can working on the dark themes. And dark theme is already has been implemented on the navigation system. So based on the time, if it is a morning, it shows on the lighter theme. And if it is a late evening or the night, it shows on the dark themes. So any driver, they can be able to easily view their navigation and they can drive their vehicle. So if you are planning for any navigation oriented applications, then you can plan for both the themes, not only the dark themes, so that you can plan accordingly. The next user groups are network security auditing people or network security people. 
So this network security people or the system engineers, they are continuously monitoring their systems and the network and the server statuses. So in these statuses are representing by various colors. So these colors based they are going to make a decision. So if it is everything on green color, everything is running perfectly or smoothly. So they don't need to worry about anything. So if there is an orange color or the red color, they have to worry about it or they have to take an action immediately. So these industry people also or these industry users also already they are familiar with the dark team. So if you are going to working on any networking related projects, then you can implement the dark themes. Next major user types are creative professions. So they are producing music, VFX or animations. So these user groups largely using or already they had used to practicing on the dark environments only. So if you are planning to build any of these applications or these industries, so you can plan for the dark themes. All right. So if you are planning to working on the dark theme, keep one simple rule in your mind. Wherever the users, they are spending more time, then you can plan to implement the dark themes. So this is a thumb rule to implementing on working on the dark themes. All right. So now you have an understand how to use the dark themes or where to use the dark themes. So you can use the dark themes wisely so that it will be very much meaningful to your users. If you know any other dark themes usage scenarios, kindly sharing it on the comment section. So I am also going to learn from you people and I'm going to catch you up with another interesting topic. Until then, bye-bye.